think. Act and prosper. You are now tuned into the Money Level Show. Um, so wh what do you think about like, you know, because we see like the influences, you know, like uh, especially, you know, in the music industry um, and such, like there's such a heavy focus on materialism. You know, uh, me, I do music myself and I recently uh, did a song called uh, uh, Legacy Dreaming. And I'm talking about how, um, you know, I'm not dreaming about materialistic things. I'm dreaming about a legacy, which includes wealth, but also mm -hmm. like how I teach my kids, how I lead my family, um, how I impact others, you know, all those different things. And so, um, so what, what, what do you think is like kind of the mentality on, on that as far as, um, you know, uh, the materialistic influence from like a lot of our, you know, uh, whether that be sports culture, you know, hip hop culture or whatever, do you, are you seeing a big influence of that on people? Of course, um, especially in regards to boys, um, they're always trying to, you know, be the biggest thing popping. So they want to have the nicest shoes and the nicest clothes and things like that. They want to drive the, they're fat, infatuated with fast vehicles and scat packs and all that stuff like that. You know, I'm always telling them, I'm like, if you're not trying to be a race car driver, I mean, all the cars go in the same place. Like, they're literally going to the same red light, same stop sign, going to their mom's house. Like, I'm just like, it's it's not that, um, you know, serious to want to go trying to, you know, save up money to buy your first car to be a, you know, super the Dodge Demon or whatever like that. You know, but they love, you mm -hmm. know, are infatuated with, uh, you know, fast vehicles. Um, because that's what they see, you know, and not even just rappers and stuff, but social media is, is breeding, you know, that type of mentality, you know, purposely. Um, uh, not even just uh, our rappers and stuff like that, but now it's social media influencers and, you know, things like that. Um, those things are kind of affecting our children, um, you know, in a big way, which is why I don't believe, you know, children under a certain age should have a phone or even have social media. Um, which is why our boys, you know, whenever they're with me, they don't have their cell phones. When they come to our school, they won't have their phones, period. Um, I just don't believe in that. Um, maybe once a week or earn phone privileges, but it's so much indoctrination going on there and so much happening. People don't understand that these phones are really raising these children. And I'm just like, people are wondering, like, how is my child turning out like this and stuff like that? I'm like, because of what he's watching on YouTube and what he's seeing on Instagram and what he's seeing on Facebook. You not, parents are watching to monitor. I'm like, you cannot really monitor what your child is doing on social yeah. media. They move, they are slick. They create apps to hide apps and apps to do this and an app to do that. Trust me, they, they you going to see what they want you to see. You know, and um, I'm just like, just keep it or just take it away from them. They only need to, to contact you to talk, like, go buy them a flip phone. It is okay. They don't need to have the same phone everybody else got. I believe my 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 little brother, all you need is a flip phone and a way to text or call. That is it. You don't need nothing special. You don't need no apps. You don't need social media, none of that fun stuff. You know, because can't no parent really explain to me why a child really needs social media. I'm like, why does he need social media? You can't really explain you know, they don't need social media unless you're teaching them how to, you know, monetize it and make money off of it, et cetera. Most of those kids are just trying to, even like the stuff they want their parents to buy for them. They want, they want these things to impress everybody else. You know, I'm just like, ask your, yeah. buy, ask your mom to, you know, get you something that's going to make you some money. Ask her to buy you a set of tools for Christmas, you know, or something like that um, to be able to go, you know, um, do work. Um, so I thought, I think those things are important, but the influences on our children in regards to like social media and, rappers and things like that it's, it's definitely taking a toll but that's why i do what i do and i always tell parents you know i'm trying to make sure i'm the biggest influence in their lives um and you know i feel like if you're a parent and you're not the biggest influence in your child's life uh that's that's a fault you know to that parent um because mm -hmm. you should be the biggest influence um and, and that's extremely important um because whatever's influencing them most that's what they're going to turn out like mm -hmm.